right. What I have here is some eggs that I had sitting in this jar covered with lemon juice for nine days. It's supposed to be ten, I take nine and don't make much difference. Fermenting, just sitting. Now I'm gonna cover it with a equal measure of brown sugar by weight approximately. First I'm gonna break the eggs up and then I'll use my immersion blender to really break it up good in there. Then I'll put this equal amount of uh, brown sugar in and that'll be my amino acid fertilizer. Kind of like your fermented fish, you know, hydrolysate, but you know, amino acid, but with eggs. Same deal, full of all the same good stuff. And I'll let it ferment for another nine days and that should be good. Let me pause this so I can get this lid off. Wow, when I cracked the seal, I should have left it going. When I cracked it, it was like, Shh. you can really hear it. Good thing it just smells like lemons. That's the food. You think it'd be like rotten eggs? Nope. Nice, fresh lemony scent. You see how the acid, citric acid, and the lemon juice, like really like dissolve the shell. In fact, there's a sediment layer on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that from the calcium and other constituents that components that make up the eggshell. Yeah, no effort at all to break the eggshell. And those were raw eggs, by the way. Not smelling anything. Broke up well. Anyway, let me. Blend this up and I'll be back. Well, I must say, <laughs> I'm quite surprised. I thought there would be a real foul or egg smell, or you know, that smell from fermenting. But since I used that lemon juice, it's just a really nice, fresh, lemony smell. Raw eggs fermenting for nine days straight, then broken and blended up. Look at that. Shit looks like a lemon shake or something. Not bad at all. Now I'll mix in the equal parts of that brown sugar so it'll be a nice stable deal when it's done. Forgot I, it must ferment for nine more days. And then it'll be good. Alright, let me get that sugar in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should have left the light on so you can see better. You see that sugar down there dissolving. All right. And here we are. As you see, I put the immersion blender in there and then mix that sugar and the lemon juice and the fermented eggs. And now, I'll put the lid on. I won't put it down real tight because I don't know how much pressure I build up with this fermenting with all that sugar for another nine days. I buy We'll see. I'll, I'll put the lid on, but I won't put it on real tight so that if enough pressure builds, it'll uh, go over and I'll sit it outside in that cooker closed. So if it does overflow, it just will overflow on the grate. All right, there we go. That's is good. All right, here's the other one. I got three more smaller ones to do in a couple days of uh probably about one or two days or so but here's the other one uh see if i could open this baby while you guys while it's filming so you can hear it i can see it's bulging up there some pressure done built up while it was fermenting 
Voila. You hear that? Sound like you was opening up a... Ooh, it smells so lemony and delicious, but I wouldn't eat that. Mine. You see the egg yolk? Just sprawled about from when it fermented and the egg busted open. That's is good. That's is good. Now, jetzt, jetzt, <laughs> we're having a party. I'll just, you hear that? Breaking the one that didn't crush, that didn't open already. Now, I'll put on the immersion blender and blend it up. Or maybe I'll put the sugar in first. Zuka, zuka, and done. And done blend, huh? We have a party, yeah. We have a party. Well, I just dumped the sugar in there. As you see, it's down there. Now I'll turn on the immersion blender and get her all blended up, and then we'll ferment it for another nine days, like I said. Yeah. All right, guys. There it is. I done cleaned off the jars. Got it sealed up. And right there between the two jars is approximately a gallon's worth of the egg amino acid fertilizer. Or shall we say an egg-based hydrolysate instead of the fish base, you know. Plus it has the shells in there. Blended up well. But I believe the lemon juice in there will finish dissolving those eggshells and the uh, calcium and magnesium and other constituents that make up the eggshell. You know, the other minerals and stuff will be in the solution as well. The hydrolysate, 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 however you say it. Anyway, we'll see how this is. I believe it will be really good. Yeah, that citric acid in there should should do the job. And plus, you know, the egg is like almost the perfect food. It has all the amino acids and all that type of stuff. A lot of good nutrition in there. And this, this is highly concentrated when done. So you just take a small amount and then mix it to the appropriate amount of uh, vasa. And boom, you have a good fertilizer in your toolkit. Like I said, I have three more jars out there of this I need to do the same thing to in a couple more days. So I'll have a nice amount to get me all the way probably through till next time this year. Eh, probably not. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. I'm going to do more. I'm going to make my own fish amino acid fertilizer as well probably do that uh, do another video for that so anyway until later hey I'll be back to show you guys uh, what this looks like in nine days huh I believe it'll darken up I gotta look back these lids off a little bit I'll do that right after I finish filming this because it's not too tight right now for me to do one-handed all right peace out guys make it good